Well, a study last year in the journal Pediatrics described it as, quote, unethical to call breastfeeding natural because doing that might undermine feminism, despite the fact, of course, it's true. The study also said that, quote, coupling nature with motherhood can inadvertently support biologically deterministic arguments about the roles of men and women in the family, which is, of course, insane. Fortunately for us, though, Kathy Aru is not most people, and she sees that as reasonable. Here's how she described it. So this is kind of a baffling story. One, that people are inserting politics into breastfeeding, which seems like it would be off limits for politics. But, right. but two, why it would be controversial to call breastfeeding natural. If, if breastfeeding is not natural, what is natural? Well, breastfeeding doesn't come naturally, as pediatricians will tell you. It's not exactly easy. There are lactation specialists out there. There's a whole industry sure. out there. So breastfeeding isn't exactly natural. It doesn't come naturally to women. So what they're saying is, uh, which I'm so happy there's a study out there that are finally letting women not have this guilt trip that it's okay to hand the formula over to daddy to the men and it's natural for a man to feed a baby so they're saying that only a woman able to feed a child is is inappropriate it's unethical and inappropriate and i'm so what? so glad well, that women it, it, are left off let off the hook finally i mean it, it's not unethical or inappropriate whatever those words mean i mean it can it's the opinion of some physicians that breast milk is superior to formula and other people disagree and it's a it's a debate um, that has raged for quite some time, but it's what you seem to be saying is it is bad because it suggests that women have a different role in right. motherhood than men do, but would they do because women are the only people biologically capable of bearing children? Is that now a controversial observation? Well, but, well the study is saying, though, that women are not the only ones who could feed the children. So that's what they're trying to say. It is natural for others to be able to feed the children. So the whole burden is not on the mother. So that's what they're trying to say with this okay, study. Well, that's, that's, I mean, but that's, okay, first of all, I, of course that's true. Right. Uh, of course. And and, but so but that's kind of a decision. That. What do you mean? They're, I don't think women are stupid. Uh, oh, well, there are and some I think, women that actually, I, I interviewed a pediatrician that had a mother that had a child starving for two weeks. She was not able to lactate. She was not able to produce breast right? milk for two weeks. The baby had lost weight, and she refused to give that baby formula for fear that her baby was not going to get the perfect breast milk and okay. would have to turn to formula. The okay. baby oh, ended I think up that's, in the NICU. Th that's a totally fair point, and that's right. a shame when people feel like, and people you know, do there's no like alternative. That. Perhaps there are some, but that's not what's really going on here. This is gender politics intruding on the personal decisions that parents make. Well, we and need it, it, It's though. also we, blurring we the lines. This. It's suggesting, by the way, that men can breastfeed which I don't think they can. It's suggesting can that men could, I, well, I don't know, but it's suggesting that Well, I that do men, know. <laughs> the answer is they can't. So. I have four children, I can, uh, I can I tell you. I don't know. I don't know your secrets. But um, no, what they're saying is that men can feed children. They're finally putting a study out there that's saying that breast milk is not the only way to go. There are other ways. Can, can you just take three steps back no. and acknowledge that there's something pretty awful about inserting gender politics into something as I, beautiful I, and intimate as the first days of a child's life. You know and what? maybe parents could say, hey, back and off. It's and not just beautiful. Breastfeeding is not beautiful. Breastfeeding, it causes so many headaches and, and it can be so horrible. And it, as a pediatrician told me, it doesn't come naturally for so many women. So this study, I think, is wonderful because so w women can finally step back and say, wow, it's okay to hand the bottle and the baby over to dad okay. or, or my girlfriend or okay, whatever well, the case may be. Half of that sentence is correct, of course. It Thanks. is absolutely okay to do that. Thanks. But I'm just wondering, final question for okay. you, because this is giving me a little bit of a headache. I'm sorry. No offense to you. No, no, it's not your fault, but just the whole subject is so crazy. If it's not natural to breastfeed, how did like the species get to where it is now like why didn't we die out so we found other ways like formula to feed the babies so and okay, years so ago, like in, during the medieval period like where did you get the Similac then? well, well uh, yeah exactly I'm not quite sure but this breastfeeding oh. phenomenon has been going on for the last 10 years but before that our mothers weren't all exactly into breastfeeding you had the, the feminism the the revolution the 70s women did not breastfeed like they do nowadays so breastfeeding okay. has not always been the answer man I'm glad